You know what pisses me off? Okay, so my boyfriend just broke up with me and he was cheating on me for like a day or so with another girl and he had the balls to lie about it. He's like, oh, I'm just messing around with my friend with, my, with this, so it's nothing serious. And so I'm like, okay, and today I um, saw somebody arguing and you, on his Facebook and I was like, and she's like, your girlfriend's just using you and I'm like, whoa, excuse me, I'm not, I don't know what you're talking about. He goes, and she's like, another one. And so I sent him a message, I'm like, what the hell is going on? And he goes, um, I couldn't bring myself to tell you. So it's like, so you don't have any balls. And you couldn't tell me you wanted to break up because you didn't see me even though I kept trying to get together. So I told him to rot in hell because he was a cheating whore. Yes, I called him a whore. Whatever. Um, he was a bastard. And it just makes me so angry. I mean, okay, girls, if your boyfriend ever lies to you, I don't care what it's about. If it's about his sister or his family, anything, dump him because he'll come right back with it. And I'm sorry I look terrible. I know I look really, really bad, but I'm, I'm sick. I have, um, okay, so I have, like, a complex cyst, like, right there on my side, and I'm having surgery to remove it, and this, my sister bought for me. It's a surgery puppy. <laughs> um, she's nice, and she bought me a surgery animal. I named him Pocky after the Japanese candy. <laughs> um, yeah, so, it's like, I really don't need all this crap right before I'm having surgery. So thank you, you bastard. Um, I mean, he never even tried. That's what really upsets me, is he, like, kind of made it like I was the bad person. And so then I told him how I really felt, like, I was like, he goes, I just couldn't bring myself to tell you. And I'm like, and for that, you're worthless. And he goes, I'm worthless because I told you the truth? I'm like, no, you're worthless because you lied about it first and couldn't tell me, and then you just couldn't tell me. You know, I actually tried in this relationship, Paul, it looks awkward. I actually tried in this relationship, you know? I mean, like, and this isn't okay for either gender. If your, like, girlfriend's lying to you about it, that's bad too, because ladies, you should know better because you know you wouldn't want that to happen to you. Sorry, I'm breathing. Um, and what really annoys me is she can't even type. She's one of those people that types really stupidly, and he does that too. He types, they, they both type really stupidly, and I hate that. I mean, when I text, I spell out things. If I want to spell out an, an extreme conversation, it might take me three pages, because I text properly. I don't know. I'm just really angry. But I have Pocky. Um, oh my god, okay, here's the options for what it could be. Um, there's this one thing where, like, okay, well, there's a point zero one chance that it's cancer. Point zero one, like, it's very unlikely. Which, I almost peed myself when I heard that word come out of his mouth. I'm like, oh, good god. And then there's this chance that it's this cyst, like, made out of, like, mucus. I had to sit here and listen to the options, they were gross. And then there's this other one where it's all these spare parts from like when your body's like building things and just dangles off the end of your ovary. I'm like, that's even gross. Like more gross than the last one. And then there's like a few others. And then there's a dermoid cyst, which is like your half of the reproductive system like makes the cells. I mean, it's like, it just happens. It's kind of like an absorbed twin, but like your half makes the cells. They're really gross. Like, Google dermoid cis pictures. It's so gross. I'm so freaked out. I'm like, oh god, please don't let it be that. <laughs> Anything but that, just because it's gross. Oh, I'd rather take that over cancer, but you know. Um, it's just gross. I mean, I've seen pictures. I mean, they have lungs and stuff. So, and they have hair. And I'm like all freaked out. I, and I told my mom if it was an absorbed twin, I was gonna like be depressed for two weeks. I'll be like, I ate my sister or brother. It's gross. I don't know. Well, I'm going to go because I'm aggravated still and I need to distract myself or something. I don't know. I feel like playing video games. I don't know. I just want to cool down and I'm getting kind of loopy from my medicine. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Lesson for the day. Don't date cheating whore bastards. And have fun. I guess. Yeah. I'll go with that. I'll go with have fun. Alright.